last. Summer's here, sun is out, get a bit of hiking, and what happens? You just don't bring enough water with you. So what can you do? Well, I like to bring with me a mini water filter. So small, fits in the pocket. Right, there's many different types of water filters out there. There's drinking straws, there's all types of things. Um, this one I picked up on Amazon and I find it just suits my needs a lot better. Drinking straws are fine if you can just use it for yourself, but in an emergency I might want to use this with my family as well or for other people. And this little compact design just works really, really well for me. As you can see, you get a lot of it in the packet there and basically all she is one piece goes into your water source the other piece then goes into your container or whatever you're going to keep it in and so a small little hand pump pump it up and down so let's talk a little bit before we should go into this um, let's talk a little bit about your water sources that you're going to use. Um, ideally you're going to be looking for flash, uh, fast flowing water like I've got here behind me. Um, you don't want to go near any stagnant pools. It basically means water that has not been moving for very long um, because what has happened then is all the oxygen has disappeared from the water and the water then starts to turn bad. The reason why we ask we say that you should go for um, a fast flowing river is because it's very highly oxygenated and very little bacteria can grow in that type of environment. Now, with some of the different types of um, purification devices, yes, you can actually drink from um, stagnant pools and stuff like that, which is really great in an emergency. But really, ideally, you shouldn't be doing it. This guy is supposed to get down to two microns um, with the uh, ceramic filter inside, which we'll show you later. Um, but still, I'd be very wary from drinking from any type of stagnant pool. So let's see this little guy in action. Okay, so what have we got? We have our container which we're going to put water into, and then we have our pump. We have a float on the pump, it stops your feet going too far into the water. Get the top off. So, real place. Have it. Clean drinking water. Cheers. That tastes pretty good. More of that. Right, so let's take a closer look at the Paratrooper water purifier. Um, as I said before, I picked it up on Amazon, so just in case people didn't believe me, there it is there. Amazon by outdoor travel portable water purifier micro ceramic water pump filter uh, it can do up to 2000 liters of capacity before it needs changing okay so there it is retail price um, $35.99 with free shipping okay so they are there okay from Amazon um, what do you get in your pack well you get 
this funky little waterproof case now I'm told this is Canadian camo um, how true that is I don't know um, if anyone knows what real camo this is let me know I just think it's probably a Chinese made type of camo to be honest with you um, what else do you get in it you get some um, sandpaper for rubbing down the ceramic on the inside which I'll show you in a minute um, you also then get a very detailed um, instruction booklet um, there you go you've actually got a contact telephone number for the model number um, manual for the water pump technical details so there you go output what it's made out of okay and then you know operations but how to place the hose and everything notices about the ceramic filter when you do buy this um yeah you do have to flush it out okay so anybody who does buy one of these make sure you flush it out at home before you actually use it in the field what that means is run at least about um 0.5 liters of water through it that gets rid of any type of the detergent and cleaning products which they put inside so um if you don't do that you're going to get a nasty smell a nasty taste in your water and you won't do any harm but it's not very nice Okay, um, as it says, air put may up turn some air bubbles and normally disappear at the moment. Okay, um, how to maintain your filter, long stern uh, storage. Okay, remove ceramic cartridge and clean the cartridge. The body allows it completely dry. Put ceramic cartridge back in the body, grease handle o rings. Okay, the ceramic capacity. Okay, um your warranty. Now well, you're supposed to get um, one pure fire, one tube of lubricant, one a piece of paper which is your sandpaper and one manual. Now I didn't get the lubricant in mine and I noticed then when I re-looked on the Amazon site the one they had in the picture didn't have the lubricant in it either so I don't know why they don't have it but you do actually have a manufacturer's uh, contact down here as well. I gather the lubricant is actually for the old seals on the actual pump um, as I said before basically there is a fresh water straw which comes through this is actually detachable from the top it has a little uh, ring up there the other end then is your dirty water piece with your filter and then your buoyancy aid this one can come off as well but I don't try to pull it off because I don't want to get it loose um, other than that inside here then is your ceramic turn that around the ceramic piece as you can see it's still a bit wet from the demonstration which we're going to clean in a minute and then there's your pump again this will take apart as well this is your suction pump again it has a greased o-ring on it and basically then you can also hear inside is a little ball valve which goes backwards and forwards and the reason for that is what happens is that when you pull up the water gets sucked in you push down it gets pushed through and the ball blocks then any flow and water coming back in okay to maintain your actual filter what you need to do is get some fresh water take out one of your sand pieces of sandpaper There's about five or six sheets in there, pretty impressed. And basically then you place the ceramic into the water and you give it a light sand. What this will do then is remove any dirt that is blocking the pores of the ceramic itself. Do a quick rinse and then dry it off with some tissue paper try not to leave this in direct sunlight as that will actually degrade your ceramic itself that's basically it as you can see there now 
you can see the different ceramic. Now, the only drawback I find with this kit is that um, before storage now I'll have to leave this out to dry completely as I don't know if you can see there's actually some water still stuck in the pipes um, which there's no way of getting out unless it, letting it dry if I was to store this away again now and not use it for another two weeks basically what would happen is this would start to go bad and mouldy in the inside so that's a drawback on you so just something to be aware of that once you've been out using it leave it time to fully dry before repacking it away again. Now I want to talk some more about more pros and cons of this item. Right, so my overview on the little paratrooper water filter. Um, I've been hiking now for well Oh, well over 20 years and I've been camping and doing backpacking since I was three, three years old with my parents and I remember as a kid quite innocently being able to go down to the local river wherever we were camping or hiking and drinking the water straight from the stream. At that time the golden rule was, as I said before, it's fast and flowing, it's safe to drink. Fortunately, 20 odd years later the world is a different place and our water sources are slowly becoming contaminated and yes it's us the humans who are doing it so having something like this becomes more and more handy and more and more necessary um, yet yeah, you should boil your water you should use purification tablets but if you're on the go and in an emergency having a small type of filter like this could save your life um, is this practical? Yes it is. Is there anything I would change on this? Yes there is. First of all, the actual straw that your clean water comes out of and goes into your water source is too, sh too short. Um, as soon as I can find another type of silicone rubber tubing to replace this, I will get it longer. Also it would be nicer if this was a slight bit longer as well. Now, this is very well made and what I had forgotten to do when I first put it in the river was actually move the float up to let this bit actually submerge under the water. Otherwise, you have it right down here when you stick it in, it's just going to keep floating to the top and it's not actually going to take in any water. And if it does, what's going to happen is it's going to take the scum and all the dirty bits that's floating on the top. So you don't want that to happen. You want it to at least submerge at least an inch or two inches above the water to start getting any type of non-contaminated water. What I've also seen a lot of people do is stick um, like coffee filters, cheap coffee filters over the tops of these with rubber bands just to save on the wear and tear of the ceramic on the inside because it's an extra filter to go on through it. Um, if you didn't have that, like a bit of old cloth from a t-shirt even would do great just to catch the big chunks um, and stop it from contaminating the inside too much. But overall, I think for the price and for the size of it, it is really, really nice. And I would definitely use this in an emergency. This is one of the, going to be the new items that I'm going to keep with me at all times when I go out hiking because having a fresh water source is necessary. Hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. And remember, be prepared.